So some of you guys been asking about my weight loss. If you guys saw my vlog from December, um, some of you guys know that I've been on Weight Watchers. I'm surprised that some of you guys have noticed that I guess I look a little slimmer. Maybe because I see myself every day, I don't notice it as much. Since I started in December, um, so three months, I've lost a total of 16 and a half pounds. I went down one pant size. I didn't really notice it at first until one of my pants started falling off of my butt when I was walking. So like my my pants was like down to like my knees like you know the justin bieber swag swaggy swag 16 and a half pounds one pant size down and i'm still on weight watchers so you have a certain amount of points per day i have 29 points and so you have the, i i use their app and so i have 29 points and then every week you get bonus points of 49 points so those 49 points are extra points if you need if you're going out or maybe you can't stay within your points those are just to dip in extra points but if you do that means you won't lose weight you're exceeding your calories for the day i dipped into those points a couple of times this month but the first two months i like strictly stayed away from it so this month my weight has been fluctuating i think you guys can tell um so my face um bloats quite easily so some days like it's like a blowfish and the other days it's like back to normal um it's just how i've always been i've gained weight super super easily so just from watching what i eat is how i've lost weight so with weight watchers i've been eating differently i've been more aware of what i've been eating i would say around 90 percent of the food is all home like made food like i cook all my food basically I've been eating a lot more vegetables like I always make myself a big bowl of Caesar salad I've been eating Caesar salad once or twice a day every day for the past five months I would say and that's the only thing I could eat that I'm not sick of and I make it I put like four or five cups of romaine lettuce and um, I put uh, like a tablespoon of dressing and some croutons in there and for when I calculate it it's around three points for a big bowl of Caesar salad that I make and that's the only thing I can eat that I'm not tired of. I made myself uh, like big batches of soup to eat with my salad as well and I'm starting to starting to get a little bit sick of that. What else do I eat? I've been eating a lot of fruits, mangoes, Blueberries. I ate like a whole container of blueberries in one sitting. Korean pears, pe. Um, those giant Korean pears are delicious. They're I think they're in season right now. Uh, strawberries. So for the most part, uh, it doesn't sound like I'm eating a lot. Uh, I can't think of all the stuff that I've eaten. I still eat Korean food. Someone asked me about that. I still eat Korean food. Um, the first month and a half, I stayed away from rice. Started to um, bring it back into my meals. Like I measured it out. I measure out depending on how I feel. I have about half a cup to a cup of rice. For not measuring it out, a cup doesn't seem like a lot, but it is actually quite a lot. And you know, eating you don't even have to eat a cup like half a cup of rice is enough and eating it with all the korean like panchan side dishes they're mostly vegetables like spinach and um, eggplant i love eggplant i eat seaweed like the roasted seaweed and stuff like that oh my mom's spicy radish panchan um there's a video i'll link it below my mom made that and that's my favorite. I have that with probably every every rice meal. Within the points, I calculate it and if it's home cooked, I I have to break it down by ingredients to calculate the points, but it seems like a tedious thing, but it's really not. Like once you get the hang of it, you can you pick it up like within the second week, it was very easy to calculate the food and a lot of stuff if you buy stuff or go to the restaurants, they have it listed on here. So um, Panera is another thing that I love and it's all listed on here how many points it is and um, it's easy if you it's easy to go out 
and eat and calculate your points. I guess that was like the main thing is like, oh, how am I gonna go out to eat? But it's it's all there. For the most part, most of it is in there. And if it's not, you could kind of look up general dishes and kind of get the estimate of how many points it is. And one thing that I've learned is portion control. Like before, I would just gorge out. Like I could have two to three bowls of rice, bowls of rice. And learning to portion control and just eat just a little bit of each, like that's something I couldn't do before. When I was with my friends, they ordered pizza and I could eat, I could eat a lot of pizza. I ate like a medium, one medium slice of pizza and then salad and good. Done. So that is a big difference in how I've been eating. I think that when you want to lose weight, you feel like you have to deprive yourself. And I've been on many different diets or cleanses and all those stuff. And I've always just stayed away from certain things. And after I'm done with it, I just gorge out on all the foods that I couldn't eat. And then I gained the weight back. So with this, I still eat the foods I want. If I want a piece of something, I'll eat that. But I'm, I'm more aware of what I'm eating. And I calculate, like even if I go over my points, I still calculate it on here. It's like the app has become like my friend. So it's like, it's like always, I'm always checking up on it just to make sure I'm always in within my points. For the most part, when it comes to sweets, sweets is a weakness of mine. I've been tamed <laughs> tamed for me my problem a lot of my problems was eating late at night so a lot of times i won't eat during the day and at night time i'm just super super hungry and especially when it's for some reason when clock passes 10 i'm just like i need to eat something and it's like sometimes i'm not even hungry it's, i don't know like after 10 o'clock is just when i just want to start snacking and all that stuff so that's when I get my blueberries and um, frozen pineapples is a good one. Sometimes if I'm really hungry, I'll just make myself another bowl of salad. I would try to save at least four points for the end of the night because that's when I know I'll eat something. Skinny Cow makes the salted caramel pretzel ice cream. These taste just like a Snickers ice cream bar. And these are four points. In another video, you probably saw me eat um, a big stick, and that's two points. So, I mean, it's not the healthiest thing, but if you need to have that sweet craving, you can t you can use it within your points. Oh, so for like protein and stuff, I eat chicken. So you're probably wondering now about exercise. I'm very lazy. I'm very lazy. <laughs> Unless you count walking to the fridge or washing dishes that's movement right or vacuuming walking to my car walking from my car holding groceries up the stairs oh that's a lot of work especially if you do one trip and i'm all about the one trip grocery no two trips no i know i need to incorporate it into my lifestyle it's just how do you guys keep yourself motivated when it comes to exercise because that's I mean, I feel like I've gotten eating down, like just food-wise, but exercise has always been a struggle. For me, um, when I hit the gym, I go through this thing where oh, I would spend two, one time I spent four hours at the gym and just exhaust yourself. And then I spent at least two hours at the gym every day and I would do that for three weeks until I'm so exhausted and I know I shouldn't overdo it but it's just sometimes you just get into that mentality and then after that I'm just like F it I don't want to do it anymore it's just something that I need to work on so my Weight Watchers I signed up for three months and it actually ends next week I don't feel like I'm ready to get off of it right now so I'm still gonna do it month to month now because it's been working I wouldn't call this a diet but it's the longest thing I ever done for weight loss. Usually after a month, I'm already like had enough with it. And I tried many things, which I'm not going to mention because I don't want. They're by no means healthy. And I don't want any of you guys to do it, any of those. If you guys are trying to lose weight as well, let's. What's this? Let's help each other out. And um, 
feel free to email me or hit me up on Twitter. I'm always on Twitter. I mean, that's probably the fastest form of communication <laughs> if you want to contact me. And yeah, let's help each other and encourage each other. And I'm still going and I hope if you guys are trying to lose weight, you're still going as well. If you guys need someone to help motivate you, I'm here. And you guys, whether you guys know it or not, have motivated me. Um, just reading your comments alone, it's bringing tears to my eyes because um, you guys are really sweet. And why do I want to cry all of a sudden? Um, I think I cried enough. I don't know why I want to cry all of a sudden, but um, why am I getting so emotional? I think it's that time of month. Thank you. I, I think I'm just going to end it here. I filmed an eyeliner video, so that should be up in a couple days after this, I think. So, <laughs> I'm just going to end it here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.